Recoating is a relatively simple but critical practice in the overall maintenance and management of athletic wood floors. In this video, we'll show you the most efficient and effective way to complete this important task using the full SuperCourt system from Bona. Before starting any work, be sure to have a discussion with the client about what they should and should not expect from the recoat process. Indicate any pre-existing defects such as damaged wood, peeling finish, paint issues, or anything else that might interfere with adhesion. Check for scuff marks and identify if they are above or below the existing finish. Any marks or blemishes below the finish cannot be removed with a recoat. Check the baseboards for damage as well as any dried finish from prior applications. Pointing out these areas will show the client that they existed prior to your recoat. Lastly, verify with the client any other chemicals that may have been used on the floor in the past or might still be used. After the existing floor issues have been identified, it's time to prep your job site and make sure you have all the materials needed to complete the recoat. Lock all doors and secure entry points to prevent unwanted foot traffic and place signs in visible areas to indicate that the gym floor will not be accessible. Begin the cleaning process by dust mopping the entire floor. Remove any gum, tape, soda spills, and other sticky substances you find. After dust mopping and removing scuff marks and foreign substances from the floor, it's time to do the final clean. Fill the auto scrubber with hot water and add the correct amount of Bona Super Cork Cleaner Concentrate. One ounce of concentrate is equal to one gallon, so a 15 gallon auto scrubber tank will need 15 ounces of concentrate. Easily measure the Super Cork Cleaner for dilution by using the gradation marks on the side of the dispensing reservoir. Fit the scrubber with a red, black, or green pad, then thoroughly clean the entire floor, working in the direction of the flooring. Again, keep a close eye out for any sticky objects or areas. It is essential to remove all foreign substances and objects from the floor before moving on to the abrasion process. Anything missed could severely compromise the effectiveness of the diamond abrasives during the subsequent steps. Thorough and proper abrasion of the floor is essential to ensure adhesion of the new finish. The best, most efficient way to abrade athletic floors is to use the Bona Multi-Disc with 180 grit diamond abrasives. Each set of diamond disc will last 4,000 to 5,000 square feet, so for most gym floors, you'll only need to change the disc once. While abrading, move at an even pace and work with the direction of the flooring, overlapping each pass by at least six inches. Make sure to remove all scuff marks and any other flaws that are on the surface. All gloss or sheen on the floor should be completely removed during the abrasion process. Unless you're using a dust containment system, abrading athletic floors creates a lot of fine dust. This dust will need to be completely removed and the floor cleaned thoroughly before putting down any finish. The cleaner you keep the floor, the better the results will be. First, either vacuum the entire floor or dry tack it with a Bona Microfiber Green Dusting Pad to remove the bulk of the dust. Pay special attention to edges and baseboards where the dust tends to collect. Follow the dry tacking by running the auto scrubber over the entire floor using Bona Super Court Floor Cleaner. Finally, after auto scrubbing, wet tack the entire floor using the Bona Super Court Mop and Microfiber Cleaning Pad to remove any remaining debris or dust. Before the application process, tape off all floor plates and anything else that needs to be protected from the finish. Prepare the Bona SuperCord finish by first adding the recommended amount of water to the crosslinker, then shaking the mixture for about 10 seconds. Carefully pour the crosslink mixture into a full bucket of Bona finish. Close the lid tightly and shake the entire mixture for 15 to 20 seconds. Place a fine strainer over a clean bucket and pour in the prepared super cord finish. The strainer allows for easy removal of any solids that may have formed in the finish. Repeat this process for all additional buckets needed for the job, then pour the prepared finish into watering cans for easier application. 
Prepare all of the application tools by washing them in clean, cold water and keeping them damp prior to use. Before you begin coating, it's important to choose your exit plan. Of course, you don't want to work yourself into a corner, but you also don't want to end your application in highly visible areas. Chances are the finish will have picked up some debris by the time you reach your exit, and it can also be difficult to create a perfectly smooth area as you work your way out the door. It's best to always finish your application out of a lesser used doorway or exit. As a guide for proper usage amounts, place tape along the walls to indicate square footage or stage the buckets of prepared finish at specific points along the walls. Begin coating by pouring a line of finish at least six inches wide along the starting wall, making sure the finish is at least eight inches away from the wall. Walking at a medium pace, gently pull the finish with a T-bar using very light downward pressure. Heavier downward pressure will spread the finish too thin. It may be necessary to pull the first line along the starting wall twice if sufficient coverage was not achieved. When you reach the wall at the end of each run, carefully pull the finish along the baseboard and smooth it out. Press the applicator on the floor to remove excess finish and begin your next pass. Continue this process all the way across the gym, keeping your finish lines at least six inches wide at all times. When you finally reach your exit point, soak up extra puddles of finish with clean rags and smooth out the final area as well as possible. Allow the first coat of SuperCourt waterborne finish to dry for two to three hours before applying a second coat. Remember, high humidity and cooler temperatures will extend dry time, while high temperatures and increased airflow will decrease it. If for any reason the first coat is left to dry for over 48 hours, you must abrade the floor prior to applying the second coat to ensure proper adhesion. To apply the second coat and any additional coats needed, follow the same process of that of the first coat, working with the direction of the flooring, overlapping each pass by at least six inches and allowing sufficient dry time. Allow the final coat of SuperCourt waterborne finish 48 hours to dry before use. Thoroughly wash all application tools with water and place them in airtight containers for storage. Well, that wraps it up for the recoat process of athletic floors using bonus SuperCourt waterborne.